And welcome everybody. Hello. All right, we're live here uh, for this live stream of Make Code for Microbit uh, tutorials here in Seattle, Washington. My name is Pelly. I am a developer uh, in the Make Code team working for Microsoft. And with me, we'll have Emil. Emil is going to be driving the keyboard, and we'll have Zilli is going to be doing the Microbit interaction. Uh, so, what are we doing today? We're we're going to do this micro chat. No, no, we didn't micro chat. We didn't micro chat. So we've done all the tutorials, and we're going to scroll down. So we're in. So if you're starting here, make sure you go to makecode.microbit.org in the browser. And uh, this will work even if you don't have the microbit. So you can do all the coding today without the hardware. So open your browser and go to makecode.microbit.org. And once you're there, you can tag along with us. All right, so we're scroll down from, so we were all the way start. So this is where you start. And what you want to do is scroll down to Past tutorials, past, past coding to games. To games. And uh, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Move the rock, paper, scissors game on your microbit and challenge your friends. Cool. A rock, paper, scissors game. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Sorry about that like uh, early morning here. Okay, so let's go back, let's show, because we were, we were on the wrong screen. Uh, so click OK. Oh, okay, I click click that. Button. And do exit. Let's exit it. Okay, so watch, uh, and sorry about that. So go to makecode.microbit.org. You can see the, the address here. And uh, you can do that in, in the browser. And again, you don't need the microbit to do this. Today, we're going to do a very cool activity, which is rock, paper, scissors. So, Emil, let's go back and start the activity. So, when you start on the home screen, you're going to go down to the games. Yeah, you're going to go down to the games. And the first game we can build is rock, rock paper, scissors. scissors. Let's click on that. Didn't we already start one, though? No, let's, let's show the whole thing because we, we were in the wrong video. Okay. Make the rock, paper, scissors game on your micro bed and challenge your friends. That sounds fun. Use accelerometer. Use the accelerometer. 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 And the screen to build a rock, paper, scissors game that you can play with your friends. Ta -na -na -na. Yeah. All right. Can you read the instructions so that we know what we're doing? Add an on shake block to run code when you shake the micro bit. All right. So without looking at the hints, mm -hmm. it, it, it showed us. It showed the that. hints. Yeah. All right. So uh, where do we find the inputs? No. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, in the input. Oh, in the input. Shake. Yeah. On shake. Let's drag it. Drag this in, and let's uh, let's take off. The, the two other blocks, we don't need them, and zoom in a bit. I've used this a lot, but like on the buttons. Oh, there's plenty. So move the block to the left so that we see it on the screen, and let's zoom in a little bit. So on shake, actually click back on the thing. On shake is one of the many gestures that the micro bit can detect. If you click on shake, you'll see that there is plenty of the stuff we can do, and we'll use that to build some more games. So it can detect that it's falling, that it's like hit, 3G, AG shocks, or that yeah. you twit, that you yeah. tilt it and you put it sides. But today we're just gonna do shake. And if you remember, I think we did the dice. The dice game was the the dice was the shaker yeah, too. Yeah, the dice was yeah. the shaker. All right, let's keep that one on the top corner there, and without moving it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, are we done? I think we're done. Yeah. We're oh. Done. Yeah. Add a hand variable. Place set hand to block in the shake event. So I'm just gonna make a variable called we, hand. Yeah, I'm gonna make a variable. And while you're doing that, um, can remind everybody. So yeah, go ahead and make the variable, Emil. A variable is a, a place in memory where you can store things and read them. It's just like a drawer where you store numbers. So instead of storing socks, you store numbers and strings. Um, so we create a variable and we gave them a good name. 
a name that describes what it's going to store. Um, and that's really important and really helps when you're coding. I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we aced it. Yeah. Good grades. So we don't want this. Okay, add a pick random, of course, because yeah. it's like a dice. Um, oh, no, it's rock, paper, scissors. Otherwise, if you always do rock, you're kind of going to start losing. <laughs> yeah. Add a pick random block and pick number from one to the hand store in the variable named hand. So where is random? I think we've used it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So by now, we should know it's in math, yeah. Right here? And it's round and it fits, and you can see that the zero lights up, so it's yeah. okay to drop it there. <laughs> Bing, looks happy. And we're gonna have one, two, or three. We're gonna have ch three choices. Rock, paper, scissor. So we need a number between one and three. I think I might know this, how, how this isn't gonna go half a slide. Yeah, up. we've done, once you know the pattern, you know, yeah. it gets easier to code. Plus an if, yeah. And then we're going to do... We All right, let's read the instructions. We, we did this with the dice, I remember. We did this with the dice. Yeah. We're remixing it. Place an if block under the pick random and check whether the, whether hand is equal to one. All right, so let's start with the first instruction. So we need an if statement. Which is logic. An if block, which is in logic. The small one? We can the take one? the... It doesn't matter. We can we take to the small one. This time. Oh yeah, because you can expand it. Yeah, and you can see it snaps right in there under the variable, and it has this diamond shape hole, which has true in it. It's not wrapped. And the purpose of the if statement is to run code only if something is true, and that lets you make decisions. And decision is really what mm -hmm. creates intelligence in your program. And we want to check. So we want to handle the first case, which is. Uh, hand is equal to one. There's going to be three cases. Yeah. One, two, three. And so, to do that, we need to put something. So we need to check that it's equal. Yeah. And there's a block here, and you can see the shape. It's a diamond. It's a diamond shape, so it's good. And this is diamond, yeah. so. So we can grab that. Like this one go in here. Right. It will. It I will. mean, you could store. Yeah, it's, it. you can try it. Ooh, it morphs. Ooh, yeah, you can yeah. store, and we call this a Boolean variable after the mathematician invented them. Um, and a Boolean variable can be true or false. Yeah, if you want to have your name remembered in history, yeah, you can uh, invent math <laughs> um, and traumatize every kid <laughs> thereafter. <laughs> All right, so so yeah, the Boolean variable, so the true false bool variable, and it has this equality, just like you do in school. Um, it's going to check whether the two sides are equal. Now, what do we want to check? We want to check that the hand is equal to 1. So we're going to use a, the hand yeah. variable. Yeah. And drop it on one side. The first slot. And then we're going to check that it's equal to 1. 1. Right. And then if it's equal to 1, then we're going to put... I had a show leads to show a picture of a paper. OK, paper. Paper. I'll let you figure out how you want to do paper. Okay, full thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why not? All right, we can change that later if we want to. I mean, it's like a sheet of paper. Yeah. Next. And then rock will be like... Oh, cool. We can simulate shaking in the, in the simulator. So you can see that if you move your mouse around in the simulator, it kind of twists. Mm -hmm. And it's really telling you... It's, you're shaking it? It's kind of showing you that you're moving the micro bit in 3D. But you can click on shake, because shake requires more than twisting it. It requires like a few shaking. Yeah. You can do it with the mouse, but it's more it's more complicated. You're going to have to button smash it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work every time. Although, I th oh, so they've got a d different design for the, the, the paper. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, we did that. How many chances do you, how many hits do you need? I mean, you have one chance out of how many? Uh, to get every single one. Right now, you're only handling the case where it's one. Yeah. We need. So. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what's next. Oh, yeah. So keep, keep the code okay. away from. Okay, yeah, I added it one too many times. One too many times. Let's move uh, Let's move left because we're. it's hiding with mm -hmm. our camera. Although, actually, 
let me uh, let me move to the uh, where's my view ah okay let's move on here Shirley D's for scissors oh that's such a good scissor guy and the else oh you looked at the hint no it shows oh remove the, the uh let's take a look uh, I think we don't need the if yet oh, oh yeah we we have the else okay uh, no, we didn't. Let's follow the tutorial. So let's remove that thing we added by accident. Oh, we get it. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Add a show leads. Show leads. And we draw this awesome uh, scissors. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. Super artistic. You know, maybe we can do an animation where it it does. Oh, yeah. That'd be but fun. we can do that later. That's the open version. How they draw it? Okay. Two diagonals. That's a scissor. That's right. Yeah, that's good scissor. Yeah, it looks great. It Actually, good. let's see. Uh, let's let's test it on the hardware. See if that works. Um, so we've got the micro bit connected to. Let's click on download. It's going to give us the instructions. Yep. After Emil's done stretching. It's nine. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, step one, connect your microbit to your computer with USB cable. We've done that. Move the hex file to your microbit. And so what we do is right click, click and then same like as. Yeah. And then we're just in, we only have one microbit. Yeah, now, we have so. one microbit. And now, uh, if Zeli turn the microbit, you can see it's blinking. That means it's transferring the data inside of the microbit brain. It'll stay there. And now, when you turn around, so Zilli, if you can. Paper. Paper. And scissors. scissors. Paper. 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 Yeah, it's hard to see. You've turned on too many LEDs. <laughs> we'll talk about why the screen is looking different on TV. If you're looking at the video now, you'll see it's blinking. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking at it for real, yeah. our eyes see actually all the LEDs turned on. And it's kind of the same effect when you see like wheels of car turning, but you don't see the fins or like mm -hmm. you don't see when you look at a helicopter mm -hmm. and you don't see the thing turning. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some pretty cool. Like, uh, if I look here, it's not blinking. Let's put it back. It is not blinking if you look at it with your eyes, guaranteed. And we have actually a great video that explains the LEDs on the, the Microbit website. I guess uh, it's by? By Sean. Hmm? Sean. By Sean Heimel. The, <laughs> and he's got all the physics uh, explained to you. So go ahead and check it out. It's Oops, very interesting. Yeah, all right. I think we're done with this stuff. Yeah. OK, click the plus button again, and then else if. OK. Done this. Let's hide the, the okay. The hint is gone. Okay. Now add a conditional block for hand equals two. Okay, so I think we can merge this. Yeah, let's try it. Mm. It works, but it's not really what you want. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we want this. Yes. We're doing to check that the variable the value stored in hand is gonna be equal to two yes and when that happens so we've covered hand uh, paper scissor rock. and then we need to do a rock rock i need to draw a rock well we'll do that next yeah time. get one more show led leds whatever put it in the else if wait how i want to see how they drew a rock oh okay see the paper is just the outline and then the rock is inside yeah so they look more different i, I might change the paper Okay, here's a trick for this thing. Yeah. Just leave your mouse down and you can paint. It's awesome. You don't have to clickety click. I'm going to see if I can do something. Yeah, you don't have many pixels. <laughs> then I was trying to write a P. <laughs> uh, like a P inside. Ooh, yeah, okay. no, you, it's five by five. Yeah, it's much easier to draw if you leave your finger down. P, okay, P. P for paper. 
Okay. Here we go. Scissors nice. Scissors but nice. Maybe Let's do that rock. Is. It's a little rock. Hey, I'm just going to duplicate it. So to duplicate, you right click on the mouse if you have the mouse. Yeah, you right click on the Or you tap hold if you're in touch device, and it'll show up the, the context menu. And then you can do all this stuff. Yeah. And then make it adjust. Now we want to do the rock. Rock um, But you can do R with your hand or P. I'm trying to draw, I'm not even this is how you, this <laughs> It's looking like a P. <laughs> that's a rock. All right, that's a rock. That's a pretty good rock. Let's zoom out to see what we got. Uh, also, what you can do is you can do animations. So you, you can do later on, when we're done with tutorial, we can, can animate all that stuff to make it more fun. Okay. okay. So we've handled case one, case two, and then by, by elimination process, because we know it's neither one or neither two, the else branch handles the case where it's three. So we've handled all the cases that our number generator is going to handle. And that's how we build our rock piece of scissors. Even though we didn't put the three. We didn't put the three. Because, because there's anything else than one and two. Because it's not one, it's not two. So it's scissors. So it's three. Click on the shake and see that every image. So we're testing, make sure the images show up at least once. And they do. And actually, let's let's turn on. Uh, how about you turn on slow mo? Let's see what's going on. So hide the. Yep. There it comes hiding. Yeah. Can you actually zoom in so we see the whole code? Uh, let's see. So, so when you click on shake, it goes into. You can see right. It goes here, then it goes into the variable, then it picks one of the solution. So that's kind of what we expected. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we expected. All right. Click on download. Click final on download. Time. Yeah, let's do a final time. So download. Let's do, go through the process. Connect your micro bit. Right click. Right click. Save link as. Find the drive. Micro bit. You don't have to click it. I just like to click it. And it's flashing. And once it's done flashing, really want to wait till it while it's flashing. Just don't unplug it too early. When this is done. Paper. No, rock. That's rock. Rock. See, I think I should change my rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that right now. It's hard on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, paper. Rock. <laughs> Amazing. No, it's I kind don't. of a. You should just do it. So, how about we keep it up and then we're going to do animations? I'm just going to draw what they did. Real. Yeah. A rock. All right. Oh, that's scissors. So, let's go back to the code. And yeah, so we're done with the tutorial. We're going to click on finish. And by doing that, this is going to. Is the flying mouse a new, yeah, <laughs> a new <animation>. technique? <laughs> and when you click finish, you got everything. Uh, you got all the blocks, so you can do. You can customize it, and that's the fun part. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I first wanna put. I don't know. Like the effects. I have. I don't oh. know. I don't have any ideas what to put. It's like rock paper, scissors. rock, paper, scissors. And rock, paper, scissors is rock, paper, scissors. Well, we could add more images. Oh, okay, like so we go up to like five. A hole? Oh, yeah, rock, let's add at least, scissors. let's add one. So we're going to four. Yeah, and yeah, we're gonna add one more case. Yep. And that's going to be... Um, and now, that looks good. Go in logic. Yes, equality. And we can change it, but yeah. And, and then. okay, we uh, need to read the v value of the hand variable, so we put it in here, and I'm going to check that it's equal to four. Three. Three. Oh, yeah, correct. 
And then else is going to become 4. And in that case, Which we're going to show a string. Yeah, it shows a string. That's cool. If you have microbits at home and you have more than one, or then flash it up, attach the battery, and go uh, and go compete uh, with people in your house. Um, it's quite fun. If you roll a three, for the rights to do the dishes in the home learning. <laughs> You want to do short words because it's kind of scrolls. Okay, first I'm going to put in caps lock. Yeah, caps then, lock. The caps looks better on the screen. Um, um, just. Uh, so rock, paper, scissor, and what else? Shoot. Um, water. Shoot. This water paper, could be scissors, a good shoot. one. Someone shoot it. Water beats the, the paper. Okay, water beats the paper. It beats the what? rock. It beats the rock and it beats the scissors. We need something that can be. Beat. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do the ultimate thing, which is water, and then we we tweak the numbers so that it's very hard to get it. It's like the the secret. Uh, so you win. Yeah. But now, let's do one to seven hundred. <laughs> no, I think that's too much. Okay, so the, actually one to let's 600? do. We have what four choices? Let's do. No, we could, if we could do, we could put these, we could do 1 through like 20, we could make these. If you roll a 1 through 4, then you get paper. And then a 1, no, 1 through 5, you get paper. A 1 through 5, we get rock. Uh, I mean, like... Six, 5 to 10? Yeah, 5 to 10. Yeah, let's do that. So let's let's roll the dice from... And then this, but then this is like 1. Yes. So let's go back. That's actually a great idea. So we're going to increase the numbers, and we're going to treat the probabilities. So we're going to pick a number, a random number from 1 to... Here, from one to what? One to. Let's say okay. fifty. Okay, fifty. We can change that later. Yeah. So the hand, the first case, we're gonna give it a weight of five. Well, let's give it a weight of ten. So one. So one to ten. One through ten. So if you don't want to do that, what you want to do is write the math. So how do you say that hand is between zero and ten? Ah, uh, one comma ten. If you click on the equality, you can use another operator. Oh yeah, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to? So it's going to be less than 10. So less. Less, and here. 10. So if it's less than 10, it's paper. Mm -hmm. Now the next thing would be if it's less than, and we're going to just make them all the same. So it's going to be from, zero to, from 1 to 10, then 11 to 20. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we're going to say less than. Or equal to? No, greater than or equal to to 11. Well, we already know it's, it's not less than 10, so we don't yeah. care. Uh -huh. So we only care about the upper part. Yeah. So we're going to say it's less than 20. So run the math in your head. You're like, OK, I got a number, and if it's less than 10, I do this. Can't this be 5, then? Oh no, okay, I get it now. And But it's not less than 10, so if it's less than 20, it's gonna be rock, and then we keep going like that. So the next step is, is gonna be, you know what, how about we swap the, it's gonna be easier to reason. How about we swap the scissors and the you win? Yeah. Let's swap them up. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do, if the hand is now less than uh, 30. 30? And then the you win, we're j We wanna add more, all the way to like, and then one of them's gonna be 49. Well, actually, uh... And then this is gonna be like a two chance of five. No, wait, 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 yeah, but we can do it later. That was good. Now, I think what you wanna do is say, this is going to be 1 to 31. So you've got one chance out of a... <laughs> we'll see. You've roughly got one chance out of the, you know, 30 or 31 to hit the you win thing, the ultimate win. So you might have to click a, a while to do that. 
So we've tweaked the probability we've indicted a cheat in the game. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So you can do a, a simple rock to scissors, but we can also mute it um, for the things you want. All right, so that's a cool game. We're going to show how to share it and save Should it and that? send it to your friends. Um, You're not going to hit that easily. It's a Duke. Duke? Uh, New win was, was pretty good. All right, now let's go ahead and sharing, and that's going to conclude this video. Um, share? Yeah. I'll click share again. Um, not rock, paper, scissors. Not rock. What? And meanwhile, uh, oh. I just deleted it. Okay, I was, I was on caps lock, so I was trying. Not rock, paper, scissors. I guess. Almost. Almost. But it's out of 30. One. All right. And click publish. And you're going to get a link. And that link you can use to share uh, or send it to your teacher or send it to your friends. Do we not have that little? So there is, uh, the, the QR code is not here mm -hmm. yet. Okay, and that concludes this uh, video on rock, paper, scissors, and we'll be back with more tutorials uh, on a future episode. Tomorrow.